by now you are beginning to see how much the mind is really like a computer incredibly like a computer except that it has ten of thousands of times more capacity than any other computer in existence for its size in actual fact we have already mentioned that we have a tremendous overabundance of hardware and a vast shortage of positive software program that will actually help us to accomplish our goals Like a conventional computer, you have to program into the computer in order to get output. Input equals output. Garbage in equals garbage out. The biocomputer understands only and exactly what you have programmed into it. For example, see if your biocomputer languages open up a corner grocery store or a spice shop, your biocomputer will give you the output that you have programmed it into. I am assuming now, in all following instances, you will be visualizing as well. So, your biocomputer will find a way for you to open a corner grocery store or a spice shop. The moment it's accomplished that for you, it will stand idly by, staring right through you with a stupid grin on its face saying, Mission accomplished. And it will do nothing further for you until you give it specific instruction in the, in the form of a program. Let's have a look at some more biocomputer language and see what are the troubles people openly invite into their lives. I must start a relationship or I must get a lover or I must get married. This is a I common enough pro program that causes untold misery and unhappiness. The biocomputer can lead you into a relationship very quickly. It can, it does, and it will, all the time. However, what you have unwittingly programmed into your biocomputer is not what you really want or desire. By who called by crook, you will end up in a relationship. But the chances are, are that it will be with someone you don't really fancy. And the chances are that because that person in your life may very well feel a few of your needs, you may be with that person for a very long time indeed. Many times the girl may even fall pregnant and the couple end up marrying each other. They may even go through many years of marriage life together, being very frustrated, unhappy and fulfilled. Believe me, it happens far more often than you could possibly imagine. To add insult into injury, the biocomputer pats itself on the back, puts its feet up and takes it easy, thinking what a marvelous job it's done for you. With a little more care and a little more understanding of the human biocomputer, you could just have easily put a program in along of the lines of, I am dating a wonderful girl who is between 30 and 35 years old. She loves dancing and jogging and politics. She has a great education and we date each other for at least six months before we start living together. We complement one another and she satisfies me in a very imaginable way. Why do you think people who are left inheritances or win lotteries spend, spend, spend and very quickly end up where they were before they won the lottery? They do it because they are running on old computer programs. This is something you must look out for. It's an, it's an easy trap to slip into. When you set yourself a goal and you haven't visualized far enough into the future, what happens is that you start to run on all programs and take the least line of resistance. Before I jump into what I consider one of the most important discoveries of the 20th century, I would like to reiterate one or two points. We have so far discovered that to perform certain tasks successfully in our own lives, whether the task be selling or earning money or closing a certain deal or carpentry or welding or accomplishing the task of being a success, we must have certain knowledge in the individual neurons, in the electrochemicals that make up our biocomputer programs. We can get that information into our biocomputers in a variety of ways. We can actually practice the things that we wish to achieve. We can simulate or role play the events as though it is really happening. Or we can relax and visualize whatever it is we would like to happen in the future. All these methods accomplish the same things. Namely, they impregnate the electrochemicals in the neurons. The neurons link together to form a ganglia, which is a program 
for your biocomputer, a track for you to run on. Just to cover a few more major points before we get heavily involved in the reticular activation system, RAS for short, let's talk about the hardware that we have already discussed in detail so far. RAS for short, the RAS is a band of densely packed cells located in the central core of the brain. It's about the size of your little finger and it contains approximately 140 billion cells. That's an incredible 70% of the total 200 billion cells that make up your complete biocomputer. It runs from the top of the spinal cord to the middle of the brain. The RAS is a very important component of the human biocomputer. Very important. One of the functions of RAS is that it acts as a filter of the mind. Let me give you an example. If you live out by an airport, I doubt you ever notice the sounds of the jets flying in and out. Your RAS has filtered out the noise, it's not important for you to hear. Friends come over in the evening to drinks and the first thing they say is, how can you put up with such noise? It will drive me nuts. They don't believe when you tell them you never hear a thing, but it's true. Your RAS is doing a good job. Anyone who has ever done research knows that they can skim hundreds of newspapers and articles and the RAS will always allow what is important to come into the field of vision. This is sometimes known as mindset. But all it is, is the RAS operating efficiently. If you develop a burning desire for a project, the RAS will allow everything to come to your attention that is needed for you to complete that particular project successfully. The human biocomputer runs very efficiently on one tenth of a volt of electricity. You will need all that electrical energy to create mental images with. Make sure you visualize when your energy level is high. Repetition, 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 repetition is the key. Key to reprogramming the left computer. Word each program carefully to ensure that you do not activate the self-destruct mode. The more emotions you can put in your voice, the quicker you will program your biocomputer. Understand the greatest mistake that many people make, it is just paying lip service to visualization. We have discussed the two hemispheres, the left and the right computers. The left computer processing in words and the right computer processing in pictures. We have talked in details about the substantial band of transmission fiber that joins the two computers together. We have talked about the neurons, which are the cells full of electrochemicals that link together to form a ganglia, which is a biocomputer program. We therefore can completely control the material that reaches our biocomputers. All we have to do is exercise that control. We also have the ability to override anyone's else programs that we no longer have use for. Again, we must decide what is it that we want for ourselves. We have come to a conclusion of very summarized three parts of biocomputer. Remember, it's all in the mind and it's something you should never move away from. Learn it sooner than later. Life is a do-it-yourself project. Stop doing it to yourself. Start putting some programs into your biocomputer that will take you exactly where you want to go. We are all ordinary people. Our mission is to do extraordinary things. If not you, who? If not now, when?